Yellowstone Volcano Horror Supervolcano rocked by two catastrophic eruptions. A new study has discovered two volcanic eruptions it describes as catastrophic at Yellowstone, one of which was the largest and hottest Yellowstone eruption ever recorded and both occurred around 8.7 million years ago. However, despite the size and ferocity of the supervolcano, scientists have so far struggled to work out what impact they may have had on the environment and Earth's crust. This is because super eruptions are so rare in the geological record that researchers cannot say for sure when they happened or how. However, a new method for spotting super eruptions has been tested in the field by researchers from the University of Leicester's School of Geography, Geology and the Environment, UK. The scientists have found two previously unrecognized super eruptions. The study states, two new catastrophic super eruptions have been discovered. These eruptions were identified as a magnitude 8.6 eruption at McMullen Creek and a magnitude 8.8 .8 eruption at Gray's Landing. The team identified the latter incident as the largest known eruption in the Yellowstone hotspot belt. Both eruptions ejected extraordinarily hot volcanic material, sterilizing large areas in the U.S. states of Idaho and Nevada. But the new findings actually suggest the number of super eruption incidents in the Yellowstone region is decreasing. The study continues. The findings have reduced the number of eruptions in the Miocene flare at the Yellowstone hotspot by one third, but the overall number of super eruptions has increased to 11. In addition, the size, frequency, and emplacement temperatures of super eruptions have decreased over time. Together, these features suggest that hotspot activity may be waning. Super eruption productivity has declined at the Yellowstone hotspot from the Miocene to the present. The average frequency of super eruptions after the Miocene is only 1 per 15 50,000 years. For example, the most recent super eruptions at Yellowstone are 1.5 million years apart. This represents a three-fold decline in the productivity of super eruptions over time. According to geologist Aaron Martin Jones, super eruptions are so large that their deposits cover tens of thousands of square kilometers, making it difficult to distinguish between each eruption. To address this issue, the researchers gathered detailed information about the chemical makeup of the super eruption deposits. Ms. Martin Jones told the new science website Massive Science that this enabled them to discover that much of the debris previously thought to have come from other, smaller eruptions actually had the same chemical composition and age, suggesting that the debris came from two previously unknown super eruptions. The Lester team hopes their research methods will lead to more discoveries at other sites.